Hey guys, it's me Hansel Shah from Tech Rampage channel and today I have brought something interesting for you guys. Well, this thing has almost changed the per- perspective from which we see the world without our presence itself. Yes, you guessed it right, the cameras. So, how does this tech work? Well, it's not that complicated, but not that easily understandable too. Now you guys might think that we could just search this thing up on net and read it by ourselves rather than wasting time in watching my video. And yes, you are right, but I am making this video for students interested in technology to learn and pass or share on the knowledge in a more easy manner than on websites. I hope you understand what I mean. So let's get into it. So first let's talk about film cameras. Back in the days when there were no digital cameras, they were the norm. Now these cameras had one important element, without which it was useless. The name itself suggests it, the film itself. A film is a long spool of flexible plastic coated with special chemicals that were based on compounds of silver that are sensitive to light. To stop light spoiling the film, it is wrapped up inside a tough, lightproof plastic cylinder, normally black, the thing you put in your camera. So when you want to take a photograph with a film camera, you have to press a button. This operates a mechanism called the shutter, which makes a hole, also called an aperture, open briefly at the front of the camera allowing light to enter through the lens. The light causes reaction to take place in the chemicals on the film, thus storing the picture in front of you. This isn't quite the end of the process however. When the film is full, you have to take it to a drug store to have it developed. Usually this involves placing the film into a huge automated developing machine. The machine opens up the film container, pulls out the film and dips it in various other chemicals to make your photos appear. This process turns the film into a series of negative pictures, ghostly reverse versions of what you actually saw. In a negative, the black areas look light and vice versa and all the colors look weird too because the negative stores them as their opposites. Once the mechanism has made the negatives, it uses them to make prints of your photos. If you want to take only one or two photographs, all of this can be a bit of a nuisance. Most people have found themselves wasting photographs simply to face off the film. Often, you have to wait several days for your film to be developed and your prints, the finished photographs, return to you. It's no wonder that digital photography has become very popular because it solves all these problems at a stroke. So let's see how a digital camera works. Digital cameras look very much like ordinary film cameras but they work in a completely different way. When you press the button to take a photograph with a digital camera, an aperture opens at the front of the camera and light streams in through the lens. So far, it's just the same as a film camera. From this point on, however, everything is different. There is no film in a digital camera. Instead, there is a piece of electronic equipment that captures the incoming light rays and turns them into electrical signals. This light detector is one of the two types, either a charged coupled device CCD or CMOS image sensor. If you have ever looked at a television screen close up, you will have noticed that the picture is made up of millions of tiny colored dots or squares called pixels. Laptop LCD computer screens also make up their images using pixels, although they are often too much small to see. In a television or computer screen, electronic equipment switches all these colored pixels on and off very quickly. Light from the screen travels out to your eyes and your brain is fooled in to see a large moving picture. In a digital camera, exactly the opposite happens. Light from the thing you are photographing zooms into the camera lens. This incoming picture hits the image sensor chip, which breaks it up into millions of pixels. The sensor measures the color and brightness of each pixel, stores it as a number. Your digital photograph is effectively an enormous long string of numbers describing the exact details of each pixel it contains. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like and share my video. See you soon.